Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Hell Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 19 of my Subnautica Season 4 Hardcore Mode Let's Play series. We're still out in the middle of butt fuck at the moment. Uh, still looking around, seeing what we can see. Um, still getting creeped out by the sea treaders, honestly. They make so much noise, dude. Like, it makes me so paranoid. Where are we? We're going east. Okay. Morning. So, east... ...takes you where? Is where are we in relation, like, to the rest of the map? We should be able to tell but just by seeing where the aurora is. And then we can roughly determine... ...even from a top-down view where we would be on the map at the moment. Just so I have an idea, because I'm very confused how far across we've come. Um. Okay. Alright, oh. So we're heading further across. Uh-huh. Which means this, the crag field's just up here. If we head this way. Which is most mainly really to the north essentially all right Morning. have a tattoo it's the only thing that drives me nuts like i get it i'm making noise i can tell just by the, the sound the cyclops is making that i'm making noise okay so i say that as much as i like exploring i'm very confused where this wreck is and I didn't want to have to look up the coordinates, but if I don't find it very soon, I'm thinking... Oh, shit. That's right. These assholes are there. I'm thinking if I don't find it sometime soon, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to figure out where it is because I don't want to spend hours each episode driving around looking for one wreck in particular. It just seems like a massive pain in the ass for no reason. Okay, we're in the crag field now. That's what I was worried about. The second you get into the crag field, you cop the bone sharks. Fuck. Okay. That's what I was worried about. Alright, so... Okay, yeah, so, anyway, as I was saying... We are actually... Not close at all to one. Hmm. I thought we were actually somewhat close to a We don't want we don't want our first number going up anymore. We actually want the first number staying relatively the same, but the last number in the camera world position going down. Yeah, like right over here somewhere. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to drive over to this wreck and I'll see you guys and girls in a moment. Alright, here we go. We have finally arrived at a wreck. Thank God for that. That took... Far too long, especially having to go in silent running mode. I didn't even bump up the speed or anything, I just sat here and did it. And that felt like it took forever. So, I also got asked in the comments why I don't use marble melons. Um, and I'll probably expand slightly upon that now. Generally, I just don't use them because... Well, I mean, I really don't have an excuse, but... I just... Always found them fickle. Because once once you eat one, they're gone, and then you have to wait for them to regrow. Whereas with the Chinese potatoes, you got like five or six per plant, and it lasts a lot longer, I don't know. I just always found that easier... Just to... Um, what you call it? Just to make water, really. Alright, we got the scanner room unlocked now. Fantastic. Okay, so there's a fair bit of goodies around this area that we can get and scan. Another scanner room fragment. This would be good for titanium. Not necessary, though, but nice. 
Here's the other thermal plant fragment that we needed. I think we only needed the two. Yep, well, we got the thermal plant unlocked now. Here's the gr a grappling arm fragment, even better. The more the merrier, honestly. It's one of two. Just gotta keep an eye on our oxygen. Apart from that, there's not too much to worry about down near this wreck. The bone sharks are in the crag fields, which are actually just in that direction, not very far from here. But this area is pretty safe for the most part. Uh, still got 60 oxygen. I thought I saw another arm right here. Was there only the one? Okay, yeah, must have... Oh, no, there, there's another grappling arm. But we just unlocked the grappling arm, right? Yeah, we don't need it. Still haven't got the power cell charger unlocked. Which is a little bit frustrating. I thought we would have had that. would have found that by now. Okay, let's just get back out now. Okay, what else we got around here? I don't know whether we can... Grab these as well. Like I said, this saves us getting these in the future. Makes it way better for me. Alright, what do we got in this little data box here, huh? Nice little undersea data box. Hmm? Let's open this baby up. Alright, I guess it was something we already had. Doesn't matter then. I don't want the grappling arm. Like, I'm, I'm fine on the grappling arm. I don't want to just fill up my inventory with titanium. Considering my locker's already like 90% full with... Uh, copper. I just want to find more fragments that I don't have. That's another one I have. I don't know why I got it, honestly. Ooh, nutrient block. That's good. I like that. Lots of grappling arms. Plenty of them. No shortage on the grappling arms, huh? Another crate. Another chest. What do we got in here? Another nutrient block. They're very good if you need to go out and get something. Modification station fragment. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. We want to find all of that. I see a drill arm as well. We gotta watch our oxygen. It's a grappling arm fragment. Alright, let's head up, just in case. 30 seconds. Doot doot. Nope, didn't even get to hear it. I was already up. Awesome. Luckily, we've got the rebreather and stuff, which is nice, so we don't have to worry about, you know going in and out so much. Normally I'd have my Seamoth with me, so I wouldn't have to travel so far in general, but I did indeed forget to bring it. Ah, uh, here's another drill arm fragment. Alright, we're getting nearly everything we need. If we can get the modification station, I will go away from this exploration set of episodes. Uh, pretty happy, honestly. I still really want to get the power cell charger fragment from somewhere, but there's probably wrecks that are a lot closer to home that I can get that from, because that's not as a, a rare one. Although I know they can spawn out in the Grand Reef, as we've seen. So it could be worth looking around a little bit more out here, but I don't really want to spend any more episodes uh, exploring. I mean, I could do it off camera, but then if anything happens, you know, people will be upset if they missed out or something. Even though I'd probably still record it just in case anything happened. Uh, just delete the footage if there was nothing of uh, substance there to watch. Damn, dude, there's nothing. I mean, we could we have to go inside the wreck if we want to see some more. So, I believe the entrance to this wreck's right at the bottom. So, what I should do is try and bring the Cyclops down as well, just in case. Give us a bit more of a buffer in case something goes wrong. Just watch, make sure that when we go down, we don't hit anything. Hopefully, we find some more modification station parts inside. There we go. Get a fall. I'm so paranoid. Every, ever since I saw that video on that of the guy getting killed going in his Cyclops, I'm so paranoid it's going to happen to me. Hey! That's two of three. We need one more of those bad boys. Get another nutrient block for me? You are awesome.
honestly probably wouldn't mind building down in the Grand Reef biome. It's not that bad. Like, it's... Creature-wise, you don't have a lot of enemies to worry about, really. There's a ton of food around from all these spade fish and everything like that. So, like, you're pretty good on nearly everything. I know I wasn't super low on oxygen, but I'm going to go straight into the wreck now, so I want as much time as possible to explore around this wreck before I have to get out. What does it want me to scan? Oh, moon pool fragment. Fuck yeah, I forgot you can get that from here. Hell to the yes. Any other moon pool fragments in this little bottom bit? I would love some more moon pool fragments, dude. That would be awesome. Hey, there you go. Lovely. This one we need to cut through. Because, like, normally a lot of the time, I think nine times out of ten, I've gone through the top of this wreck. But I think going through the bottom's just a little bit better. I don't know. I'm not sure whether there's an actual, like, ah, fucking serious dude. Damn it. Okay. We've got batteries inside our Cyclops. We can get a freshie. Get a freshie battery and put that shit in there. That's just fine. We'll do that quickly. Okay, let's see. Fresh battery. So we're going to take this one out. There we go. Open the locker. Put the dud battery in. That's good for 10 more scans. Okay. I should probably replace that and replace the... To be on the safe side, we'll replace this one. And we'll also replace this one. Put these old batteries in there. Okay, yeah. Just to make sure we've got enough to do what we need to do here. We don't want to be running out uh, scanner-wise and having to come all the way back out just to do that again. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. Scanner room fragment. Again, not what I'm looking for. Nutrient blocks, though. Like I said, I will take all of them. Alright, this wreck. What is that? Fuck. I didn't read it. I think I already have it, though. Moon pool fragment. Another nutrient block. Is that the only thing that spawns in here, huh? Nutrient blocks. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll take them. All day, every day. Does it want me to scan? Oh, just wants me to scan this moon pool fragment. If we run out of room in that, we can always drop stuff. That's no problem. No biggie, really. Alright. Good, 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 good. Everything is going according to plan. It's lovely. Okay, so before I go down there, I've got to get my path right. To get back out of here. We go out here. And we go down. Okay. Is there anything up or is this just another... This is just the other way in. Okay, so... Uh, what we'll do is we'll quickly go get oxygen again. Like I said, I'm being... I will be overly cautious this season. Seeing as we're in hardcore mode. The last thing we want is to die. Just from pure laziness, really. It's been like, oh, I didn't want to spend the extra 10 seconds to go outside and get air. And now I'm fucking dead and have to start all over again. That just seems silly to me. Alright, so what is this one? What is this? It is a repulsion cannon. You get that in these now? Anything of use in here? Thermal plant fragment? I think... We got mostly everything we could get. Where does this take me? Okay, this, yeah. There's an alternative way out, that's good. It's PDA in here. Apart from the grappling arm, it looks like that's about it. So, what are we missing out on? Well, we've got no more inventory. What are we missing out on? One more modification station piece, correct? 
That's what we're... That's what we're missing. I believe. Yep, one more modification station part. So... I don't know whether there's any more around here. I mean, I guess we could search other wrecks for it. I was hoping I would get it inside of the wreck, but I think we just explored every room and I didn't see it. So maybe if I have one last ditch effort look around here before we end of this episode, maybe we'll find it. If not, I guess I'll, I might just search a wreck off camera or on camera, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just, like, quickly record when I find a piece next episode and just cut it in. So, unfortunately, I don't think there is one extra modification station fragment around here. Which sucks. That's just the way it is, though. So, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subnautica, hit that subscribe button. Check out all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.